Hey folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, hope you're doing well today. Well, the big game was last night. Of course, Carolina won. Duke won the game at Chapel Hill, so they kind of evened up the season. It was all good. Duke uh, very flat in their uh, performance. Uh, Carolina seemed to get on it and stay on it uh, for the duration of the game. But you know, it's just a game. Now, I have some fun. I had a little fun yesterday with my cap, and but I normally don't do those things. This is just a big rivalry, Carolina and Duke. Bottom line is, who cares who wins when the end result comes in because it can't cure sickness. It doesn't give you comfort in difficult times. But what happens is very important for us to understand. Emotions are a wonderful thing, and people get really caught up in the emotions of things that, that they're passionate about. Now, that's what I want you to think about. The things that we're passionate about, uh, many people do that with grandchildren. Uh, they do it with individual sports, or they do it with college sports, or pro sports, or whatever the case may be. People are passionate about it. In fact, do you know that even at little league levels, there's fights by the parents in the stands and even on the sidelines. They uh, criticize the coach and so forth and so on. The passion that we have is incredible, and it overtakes us, and we cannot control it because it, it overtakes us in such a way. Well, let, let me back up. We can control it. But often we don't control it because passion runs wild. So let me ask you this question. What about your love for Christ? What about your passion for Jesus Christ? Now, the first thing that people say is, oh, well, you know, that's, you know, I, I need to be reserved here in this religion thing. Well, folks, here's the thing. A basketball, which I love, I coached for over 20 years. I love basketball, love football. I enjoy sports in general, still uh, play basketball, still take karate, all sorts of stuff. So I'm a sports advocate. But I want to tell you that what is important is life. Life is important, having passion for life. You see, basketball days are going to be over, karate days are going to be over, football days are going to be over, so forth and so on. But life everlasting will never end. So what we need to recognize today is to have the passion for Jesus Christ. Why, well, listen, I've pastored for over 30 years. Can you imagine, can you imagine what your church this morning might do if you got excited for the Lord? Well, your pastor may have a heart attack. I mean, if you begin to rejoice and wave your hand and, and shout a little bit for Jesus. Well, I want to tell you, I've played basketball, I've played football, I've done karate, I've played baseball, I've uh, played soccer, I've played volleyball, I've played a number of sports, but I'm going to tell you, nothing does for me what Jesus does for me. Nothing. So our excitement certainly ought to be uh, with passion in sports and whatever the case may be, but what Jesus has done is no comparison to anything in your life if you recognize that he's in your life. So... Let's be passionate about the master. Shout a little bit in your church. Give your pastor some encouragement. I want to tell you, it'll bless his heart. We need to see some life in the pew. And that'll help us get life in the pulpit. Say amen right there. You take care of yourself. You have a great day. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.